Okay, so everywhere at the top of any Facebook group, you will often see these tabs. Over here, there is three little dot symbols. So we click that and all these options will come up. Click your content. It will then flash you to another page and these are all the posts I've made in the group. On the left hand side it will say published, removed, declined or at the top some it will say pending if it's a group that needs to be on your post approval it will say pending. So I want to find my thing so I click published. It then comes up with every post that you've posted in the group here. Now you can see at the bottom of each post I've made this is previously it says view in group so you click that and then it takes you back to the main page with your post at the top right hand corner here there's three little dots you click that and it comes up with these options this is pretty standard stuff really it's um, on your own Facebook page so if you're quite experienced or been on Facebook you should know how to do this but for those who don't, okay, the three little dots on the top of your post, click delete and it will delete it off. If you don't want notifications, obviously click that, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Right, the next thing is to search. Right, I don't know if this is going to work because groups on pause. Right, you click that. This will only search this group. Okay, it says search this group. So, just say if I want something like Disney, <laughs> type that in, and now it's searching, it'll take you to the screen, and it's searching everything that has the word Disney in a post, or if you're after a certain character, like you type in the name of that character, or item, or doll, it'll come up with anything that's got dolls, but what you have to watch out for is the dates because as I say some people in some groups have not deleted their old posts and they go back years some of them so it's best to check that you can sorry hover it over and it will tell you the day the month the year and the time it was posted so obviously if it's a very old post then it's probably not there anymore so you do have to watch that Okay, so that's search for an item. So please limit ISO posts, that means in search of posts, because some people do not do the work or bother to look first. So I will allow some ISO posts, but only if you say that you have tried to look first and had no luck. Don't just be lazy, please, and just post without actually doing any work yourself. If I want something, I go search for it like crazy first before I ask anybody for help, okay? Hello everyone and welcome to my group. My name is Tracy. I'm going to be your admin and I've made some changes to this group. It was kindly given to me by Wendy and I've decided to call it Disney, Barbie, Cindy, Ashton Drake, Wizard of Oz, Christine Horth, items only. So only those items can be listed. I've drawn up these group rules which will be available on the group page as well. No pages allowed. I'm only accepting profiles that look valid. Links to eBay and eBed auction pages are fine so long as they're your listings uh, if you want to sell outside eBay use PayPal only and I advise that you use extra photos for your protection as well you must state the condition of the item if it's new or used or what it's got with it if again you're selling outside eBay add postage costs to your listings please I say I'm not going to read all this out, you can read it yourself. No repeat posts. I'll explain later on in this video, or it shows you down here as well, how to delete your old posts. 
too many groups have too many the same post over and over and over and over without deleting the old one first and it gets very annoying. This might sound very odd but I want no emoji pressing. It drives you up the wall. I've had plenty of experience of this. I've listed in lots of groups myself and I've had people, mainly spam accounts, just how me and press emojis like no end on every single item I'm selling in a lot of groups and if you have like 80 90 items in sales and be just pressing it really quickly on every single item you just get no end of notifications somebody pressing they liked your item or they laughed at your item laughing is also not very nice the sales I sales items are not a joke to be laughed at uh, no comments either unless you want to buy Nothing more annoying than that either. Uh, no time wasters, please report them to me. And if you can, show me some screen caps of the messages sent to you for me to view. Um, please read the posts, goodness sake. Uh, no harassment, obviously, and rudeness, swear words, no blocking me. Do not comment on the price if you're not happy with it. Just leave them to it or ask them if they'll kindly take a close offer. Obviously, if somebody's asking £100 and you offer 10 that is abusing the system and not being fair to the seller. You're just playing around. Please report these people to me. I will block them. There's no need for that at all. That's just messing. Uh, if they've sold, please mark them sold or take them off sale again. Stop the group clog up. Um, safety issues paypal goods and services option only do not gift a payment you will not be covered if you post the item i can't stress how many groups and admins go on about that so there's no excuse for that so we're there to help you send tracked or sign for only is advisable special items over 20 pound value um, as a buyer, I advise you take screen caps of the post because from my experience, and I've had this done to me, um, uh, seller has changed the description after and the condition of the item after I purchased it, which is quite crafty really. So now I take screen caps of everything from uh, sellers so I've got proof of what they said if they try and open if, um, I try and open a case of PayPal for item not as described, then I've got my proof of what they actually said. Uh, nobody can take your photos and use them to sell, that's copyright law. Photos can be manipulated anyway, so really the only protection is either local pickup, PayPal or eBay. eBay sorry. Um, Right, so I will now go into how to delete your old posts. That's part running. Okay, back to my advice. Trolls, time oysters. Yes, we have them all. They're getting more and more on Facebook doing nothing about it. The latest one, obviously, is things like this. I'll get a happy van man or a USB man to come to your house and give you the money to collect the item. They don't do this. Couriers do not come and collect and pay you for the items that you're selling. They only come and collect items that you ask them to come and collect. Or if you book it in for a pickup and pay the courier. They certainly don't carry cash on them anyway. They're not allowed to do that. So, yeah, there's hundreds of these I've had. Same, same thing over and over and over so just be aware of that and again you can please send these to me and I will block them quite happily okay one more note is you'll notice in some groups it does this so this is another group I'm in eBay buyers and sellers I click that and I paste over all the info and you can see everything's there and I just click post and it posts the item no problem all the information is there in the photograph then you get other groups this is another one I'm in eBay selling links UK sellers only 
I then do exactly the same thing. Paste, copy information, and it looks like it's all there. So I press post. And you can see what's happened here. See, the information has disappeared. So when I go into the publish post section, you can see that the photograph has disappeared, but it still shows up same as normal in other groups. I don't know why it does that but if it does what you might have to do is click discussion, click photo and actually insert a photo of the item and then paste all the information over and click post and then it all seems to be okay okay what I suggest is when you deal with people in buying and selling is you save their profiles I will just select mine I'll just go to my page a minute right at the top here each person has a profile so I just copy that all right click it now I can save this as a web document or I've got internet favorites here and I just press the start and it will bookmark the page and save it because some scammers out there like to suddenly disappear or block people and they don't have the links anymore so and there could be a hundred people called me you know <laughs> when people are putting out these profiles saying oh this person scammed me blah 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 there's only a photograph which only helps so far because they can actually change the photographs but the link is the important thing to block the person so just say you wanted to find me you click people in groups and click there and you know just start typing me there we go and it's come up there and then you can click me and it should just take me then to my page like so okay Anyway, I hope you find that information helpful and anything you want to know, please pay me BM and please bear with me because I do not have an internet mobile phone and I only have the home computer for internet. So much appreciated and thank you very much.